this example we'll build some application with checkboxes um, so let's fire up an editor and let's say we want to have a program uh, for now just call it app.py or whatever and we'll import tk create a window and we'll create a check button well, let's first create a whole window running so main loop it will create our window and will create our window and now we'll add a check button pretty simple check button to the window with some text so let's say uh, we have a check button YouTube um, and should set some variable okay so let's Let's say variable uses YouTube uh, it's an integer, then we can set that on value will be one, off value, so off value if not pressed will be zero, and uh, we'll give it some name, but we'll add that to the the window with the pack function. If we run this, uh, doesn't recognize info, so let's just say it's zero. And it doesn't know the check button, so take the enter dot check button. And there we go, we have a checkbox where we can set the value to zero or one. And we probably want a bigger window. Let's say window uh, dot uh, geometry 300 by 300. Have some bigger uh, window and probably want to place it um, some location. So just hold on and look up the, the function. Um, the place function so yeah that will uh, set our uh, checkbox there and you can add more checkboxes for example um, uses Google and use the same thing so checkbox 2 is check button window text is Google variable that it will use is called uses Google on value is one off value is zero and we want to place that at position uh, 120 so now we have two uh, checkboxes and they are both going on and off when we press um, and so we did something obviously wrong. Um, so perhaps they are too close to each other. No. Um, Then uh, so we have the two variables. Let's find them on the top. C one, C two. Variable is C 
send there. And what do we just pack them? So the same problem. Um, can say tk enter dot int var and actually work yeah so now we have uh, unique buttons checkboxes and we could actually place them with uh, with the place function instead so two checkboxes and perhaps too much distance between them so we might actually want this one at 10 and this one at 30 and then you have two checkboxes so you could add more um, and in this case we have quite a large window as well so I might shrink that and less width makes some sense so now we have two uh, checkboxes um, and we probably want the button there um, so that if it's pressed uh, um, we can actually do something with these values so also create a button On the window, um, and some text. Say save is on the button, and it calls us the function save. So we'll define function save. Run this. Um, doesn't recognize it, so it's the tk enter that button. And now we forgot to add the button. So, uh, let's add it after that. So now see that a strange position. Um, so let's just do it ourselves. We can put it at 70. Well, a little bit higher, I think. Um, then let's just shrink our window a little bit. Less width as well. So, a very basic um, uh, window with a, with a button. If we press it, it calls it function. And I think we can simply print out the uses. YouTube uh, value uh, but let's have a look so uh, we can simply say dot get Now it's zero, now it's one. We can do the same thing for the other button, so and 
let's say this is YouTube which is the Google uh, button a checkbox now if we run it uh, both are set to zero so you see that and we can press them set to one zero so once we press this button the it calls the save function just show you the code once more so this is the whole code for the little program with checkboxes